work. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. I'll trade you my doll for some food. She's really good, honest. Her name's Sadie. Things can get a bit much yeah. it's, it's, like it's like a never-ending nightmare. The man we need to convince is Sabine. A proud old sod. But a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily. Especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. I've got to eat something soon. Oh. If I ever get home... You don't look like right wall folk. Maybe you're more giving. Ah. <sighs> this is so bad. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, how <laughs> Hold of that Logan, I'll wring his neck. Please, do, do you have anything to eat? <laughs> Haven't got any biscuits for you. Sorry, doggy. Oh. I can't sleep. So weak. Are you here to buy? You're my best customer. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is is this is this how you use? The, uh, uh... Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. I'm starving. A reliable way to gather a few followers is by simply interacting with people. Try it. I'm sure you'll make an impression. Please help us. I haven't eaten for days. I'm gonna spend this on food. Where did you come from? I need some food. All I've eaten this week is snow. That's wonderful. Then. <sighs> Strong hands! 
You've come from the city, from Bowerstone, haven't you? Sure you must have some food. Thank you. Thank you. You're so generous. You don't look like right wolf folk. Maybe you're more giving. Excellent. You're very kind. I've got to eat something soon. Thank you so much. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well... <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. He's got a plan to get us out of this mess. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, Prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> we don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Boulder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Please, we're Just sorry. show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hmm. It makes a nice change, doing something useful. Who's a beautiful dog? Who's a... <laughs> 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 
Oh, you look good to Hey! I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <clears throat> oh, sweet papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By that holy book mark, the, the Guild Seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero King last came here. Uh, then you are? The Prince, yes. Oh, my. Uh, please, come this way. Your father told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was he who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how he would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it.
hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your father left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine! That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy. Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose ably.
Ah, hello, yes. You'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Fortunately, that section of the book also indicated where some firearms were located, and these weapons, well, they must be seen to be a bee. Please return to the sanctuary as soon as you can. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your father. They are in the armory. The rifle is the perfect instrument for engaging enemies at long range. The rifle!
Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Blessed Index Cards, you made it! This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again! 
If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. How curious that Sir Walter should have chosen a tavern as your rendezvous point. I do hope he's finding some way of occupying his time while he waits for you.